This is a recipe for spicy split mung bean soup. So what you will need for this recipe is a split mung bean, which I'll show you here, shown here. Now this is a whole mung bean. Okay, this recipe could be made with whole mung, absolutely, if you didn't have the split. So, and But what you would need to do is soak it overnight. Okay, this cooks very quickly and uh, you can have a nutritious meal in a very short time. Okay, so your split mung, vegetables. Today I'm using cauliflower, carrots, and zucchini. You could use any type of vegetable that you like. Spices for this will be black mustard seed, turmeric, cumin, asafoetida, also known as hing, fresh chilies, ginger, salt and pepper, and uh, sunflower oil. I'm using sunflower today, and uh, some fresh cilantro to finish. So let's get started. First thing, using a cup of split mung. I'm going to rinse it and fill my pot with water. Just kind of feel, you want to see if there's any rocks in there or anything that you want to remove. Give it a couple of rinses. You could rinse it in a strainer as well, otherwise you lose some of the beans. So fill your pot with eight cups of water. Turn your heat on medium high and just add your carrots. I just randomly cut them. Throw in your cauliflower and bring that to a boil. As the beans begin to boil, you'll begin to notice a white foam on the top. And what you want to do is skim this foam off. You don't need anything special. I'm just using a, a skimmer here, but you can just use a spoon. I usually keep a bowl of water next to the stove. So I just will skim this foam off and drop it into the water. So if you don't do that, the beans will boil over onto the stove. So you only need to do that a few times. Just a byproduct of the cooking. So you want to definitely keep an eye on it. You don't have to hover over it, but you want to keep an eye on it on the beans as they cook. And then as they get softer, you won't have to um, be concerned with the, them boiling over. Allow it to continue cooking. As you can see, the mung beans have absorbed the water. They're cooked down. The, the consistency is creamy. The vegetables are tender. So at this point, I'm going to throw in the uh, zucchini, which I chopped while that was cooking. Zucchini takes a lot less time to cook than the carrots and the cabbage. So that goes in towards the end. I'll move that to the back burner so we can do the spices. So we'll just move this to the back. Let's heat the oil. About a tablespoon. And when that oil gets really hot, the first thing we'll do is pop the mustard seed. My oil is almost to the smoking point. It's really hot. I'm going to throw these mustard seeds in. Just go by my feeling. It's about a teaspoon. Once they've popped, you can lower that heat. I'm going to add the asafoetida or the hang. Let that fry for a second. This is about a teaspoon of cumin. About a half a teaspoon, a teaspoon of turmeric and then the fresh chilies and ginger, which I had chopped. I had them ready to go. I'm gonna make sure you have all your spices lined up. A few seconds, and then throw that right into the soup. Okay, so what I do now, I just take a whisk and whisk it. So the, this really makes for a nice creamy soup. 
fresh black pepper to your liking, salt. Important to have a good amount of salt to bring out the flavor. Let's give it another whisk. And then fresh cilantro. Uh, if you don't like cilantro, you could use parsley. You could even use mint. Um, but I personally love cilantro and it gives it a really nice flavor. So we'll put it on the plate now so you can see it. Just gonna make a little bowl here. It's really nice with some lemon, a wedge of lemon, and some extra cilantro on top. Or you could serve it with rice. Today I'm going to serve it with a rice with buttered rice with cashews and peas. This is a big plate here. This is a perfect vegetarian meal. So nutritious. These mung beans, high in protein, iron, zinc, magnesium, potassium, manganese, phosphorus, copper, B9, B1, and of course the vegetables, the cruciferous vegetables, super nutritious. And then here we go with the cucumber salad with fresh mint and yogurt. Let's put a little more cilantro on there. And there you go. Delicious. Enjoy.